Hey guys, what's up? It's TC Cooper, and today I will be going to Windsor Classic 2017. Um, right now it's about one o'clock in the afternoon, the day before Windsor Classic. It's January, not January, June 23rd right now. Um, I'm gonna go go into the car in a few minutes. So I'm really excited. I have all my cubes packed and everything. It's gonna be a great competition. I'm hoping to podium in a lot of events and a lot of events. This is gonna be my first comp in the southeast, so I'm really excited you now because since I moved to Florida, this is my first comp in the southeast. It's been almost three months since I've had a comp, so I've been waiting a while. Here's the cube shirt I'm wearing, but I'm not gonna wear that the comp. I'm gonna wear my TC Cuber shirt at the comp, so I guess I'll just see you once I get into the car. Okay, so I'm about to go into the car for the competition. It's going to be a seven and a half hour drive. I'm staying at a hotel the night before, like a half hour away, so I'm really excited. Wait, Dad, we're taking this car, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go into... What? Okay. So yeah, I'm probably going to do like a lot of big blind attempts in the car to keep busy. Like, six. I might try getting a six blind success. Um, uh, I'm holding stuff while holding the camera, so this, this angle is like terrible, wait. Okay, I'm going into the car now. Okay, time to drive to the competition, I'm very excited. Okay, so my, so far my dad drove me about 250 miles. I'm about to stop for dinner at the Golden Corral Buffet. I am very hungry because I have, I haven't eaten since like, eaten or whatever. Oh, left. the GPS or whatever, um, yeah, so, I haven't eaten, or whatever, yeah, eaten, and, si uh, blah, I haven't eaten since, like, uh, this morning, I had a small bowl of cereal, so, yeah, I'm going to eat a lot for dinner, and then get back on the road. Okay, so I'm going into Golden, the Golden Corral Buffet, the Golden Corral Okay, I'm back in the car. Time to hit the road. Okay, so I just did a six blind attempt. Did pretty bad. I got like 44 minutes and I was not even close really. I got 67 pieces correct out of 152. I'm about to I'm about to cross the border from Florida to Georgia. What? Wait, is it the Georgia welcome? Florida. So, it's a Georgia sign about to come up. Okay, I'm gonna record a new clip now and record the sign. Okay, so it's almost 10 o'clock and we arrived at the Comfort Inn Hotel just about. This is really exciting because the competition's in about 10 hours, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Time to get ready and then go to sleep, then wake up and go to the comp. So, yeah. Okay. Time to go inside for in hotel. Okay. Automatic caution. I do not think I can do it. Okay, about to be in the hotel room. What? It's two beds. dark in here, but this is a pretty good hotel room. I could probably just put my laptop here and then practice a little. I don't know. But I'm really excited for the competition. Let's look outside. It's pretty cool to have a pool, but I'm not going to go there because, like, don't really have time. This is the hotel room, so, yeah. It's pretty cool. I guess I will be back. What, whatever the next part of this video is, that's when I'll be back. So yeah. It's about 10.30 and I have an alarm set for like 6.30. I'm really tired. So I'll see you when I wake up. 
Okay, so I just woke up. I, well, no, I didn't just wake up. I woke up like an hour ago. It's six six thirty one in the morning right now. Um, I un I unintentionally woke up at like five twenty, and and knew I wouldn't be able to fall back asleep in time. So I just did these on my phone. I tried falling asleep around like ten fifteen, but didn't fall asleep until like one thirty. So I got four hours of sleep, which is pretty bad, but not as bad as some other competitions I've been to. Um, at one competition I got like two hours of sleep. But yeah, I'm really excited for this for this competition. I'm very cold right now. But yeah, so I'll see you when I turn this camera on next. Yeah. Okay, so I just ate breakfast at the hotel. It is seven, about 7.20 and I am leaving for the competition. I'm really excited, so time to leave. About five minutes until I'm at the competition. I'm really, really excited. I am now in the town of America, so I just have to find if they're welcome to America. So we have the competition in like three minutes. Uh, this is going to be great. Hey, we are going to the competition now. So the first event of the competition was feet round one and I am very happy with my single. I got a 28.50 which is the North American record but I failed my average because I got a 46 but I'm still really happy because the average is 11th in the world and the single is 8th in the world. No, no. So the next event was 3 by 3 round one and I'm happy and sad about it at the same time because the reason I'm happy, my first solve was my first official sub-10 single, and I got three sub-10s in that round. But the reason I'm not happy is because my average was a sub-10 sub ten fail, as I had a counting 12. It could have easily been a sub-10 because my times were 9, 14, 9, 9, 12. So I'm pretty mad about that, but oh well. I'll go for sub-10 another time, I guess. So the next event was skew round one, and I'm pretty happy about my results, I guess. There's nothing really to complain no about. Um, I'm satisfied. I got a 4.80 average and a 4.05 single. Both temporar temporary comp PBs because later on in the competition I beat these PBs in a different round. So if you want to find out what the PBs are, keep watching this video. Josh Mullen. The next event was 3x3 three three bl blindfolded round one and all I wanted to do was just get a mean of any of any time so I got a 156.71 mean which I'm pretty happy about um, 
And although my cube had a logo on it, my times were not DNF'd because I submitted the same cube for finals and they said that I couldn't use the cube um, since it had a logo on it, which which I forgot. So um, I told them that I used the same cube in round one and asked if my times should be a DNF and they said no, but next time I just need to make sure that it doesn't happen again. So now I'll remember that when I do blind, I cannot have a logo on my cube. The next event was we got three one-handed bound one, and the average 21.87, not a comp PB, but I'm, I guess I'm satisfied with it. And the single 16.96, not a comp PB, because I have a really stupid comp PB. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy about my results for OH round one. The next event was Sweet Finals, and I got a 39 mean, which I'm not happy about, and I didn't even get a good single either. But I mean, at least I got second place in Feet. Um, yeah, round one definitely went a lot better than finals did for me with Feet at the competition. pretty bad but I don't really care because I made it to finals so it doesn't really matter. The next event was three by three round two when I did pretty good. I didn't I didn't really get a good single but I got a good average, not a comp T B but it was pretty close to a comp T B so I'm satisfied. The next event was blind finals and I'm really happy I got a 58 single. The only bad thing is that my first solve was the 56 DNF because I did an inverse commutator. So if I did the commutator the right way, I would have had like a 105 mean or something. So that's pretty upsetting, but I mean, I'm really happy about the single. Uh, that single was the winning solve at the competition, so I guess there's nothing to really complain about. The next event was clock round one, and I'm really upset about it because I practiced a lot for the competition for clock because I wanted to improve my sum of ranks. I wanted to get like a sub 10 average or mid 9 average or something. Um, and my clock was checkered and they said that my clock was illegal so I had to use somebody else's clock which was really bad and I got a 13 average. But I, I'm pretty sure it actually was legal because that's what like every everybody is telling me that it is legal. It's just that that one person, I'm not going to say any names, but yeah, they, somebody that was on staff at the competition thought that my clock was illegal just because it was checkered i don't know why but uh yeah i'm pretty mad about that and i didn't even make finals i was 
only round I didn't make it to at the comp, but oh well. Next Ray. round was cube finals, and I got first place, and I'm really happy because I got a 4.44 average and a 3.72 single. Both comp PBs, both are really good for me. The next event was 3 by 3 one-handed round two, and I completely failed. I got a 20 single and a 24 average, but somehow made finals. Yeah, OH is my worst event, and I did terrible on my worst event, but still made it final somehow, so yeah. <laughs> the next event was clock finals, yes. which like I said, I like I said before, I did not make it to clock finals, so the next event I competed in was 3x3 three three one-handed finals, and I'm pretty happy with my results. I got a 20.77 average, so yeah, pretty good. Apparently, I, well, I got fourth place at the competition, but then, like, about a week later, I went on WCA and thought, saw that I had another podium, and it turns out the person who got second place, their judge didn't sign their first time, making them DNF, so apparently I podiumed. Um, so, it's kind of a podium I didn't really deserve, but whatever, at least I have another podium now. The last event was 3x3 three three finals, which I completely failed, and there's nothing really that I'm happy about in 3x3 three three finals, besides my comp PB single of 9.32. In second place, with an average of 5.16 seconds, Noah Joyner! <laughs> And in first, with an average of 4.44 seconds, Tommy Cherry. Can we get all the skew finalists to come up for a picture? Finally, handmade by Arthur Wilson, your skewed trophy. Yeah. Third place with an average time of 11.88 seconds, Noah Joyner. Second place with an average of 11.72 seconds, Katie Hall. Yeah. And in first with an average of 9.02 seconds, Jacob Ambrose. And your glass blown clock trophy. Let's get the podiums back up here. How does it go? You go over there. You go. I meant to do that. Give another hand. Moving on to one handed. With an average of 20.37 seconds in third place, Katie Hall. <laughs> Second place with an average of 19.68 seconds, Jared Stinson. And in first place, with an average of 15.02 seconds, Kieran dies on. <laughs> and of course, last one trophy. And can we get the podiums up here again? 
All the OHs, come on. Right here, it goes in the middle. Yeah, in the middle. Wait, what are you doing here? <laughs> All right, moving on to blindfolded in third place with an average of 1 minute 15.45 seconds, Raymond Goslow. Excuse me, single, not average. And in second with the best time of 1 minute 4.63 seconds, Noah Joyner. And in first place with a single time of 58.93 seconds, Tommy Cherry. And here's your trophy. And can we get the rest of the podiums back up here for another picture? <laughs> And of course, moving on to feet, we have some very exciting stuff happen over here. In third place, with an average of a minute, 10.15 seconds, Christopher Cabrera. In second place, and not just any second place, with a North American record for fastest single and an average of 39.55 seconds, Tommy Cherry. <laughs> and finally, in first place, with another North American record for the feet average and a final average of 35.97 seconds, Raymond Goslow. <laughs> and there's your trophy. And can we get the podiums up here one last time for feet? Christopher. Come on, man. And of course, Ben, and everyone's favorite, the 3x3. Three three. Not my favorite. <laughs> Most people's favorite. In third place, with an average of 11.04 seconds, Jared Stinson. And in second place, with an average of 10.87 seconds, Katie Hall. And in first place, with an average of 10.86 seconds, Sean Hartman. And can we get the podiums for 3x3 three three up here again real quick? It's America. It's America. And that's everybody. Give them another hand, guys.
Okay, so that's about it for this video. Um, I didn't get any footage after that, but that was a great competition. Definitely my favorite competition I've ever been to. So thank you to Joshua Cherian for organizing it. I think I pronounced his last name right. And Jacob Ambrose for delegating it. Um, and thanks to everybody else who made this competition awesome for me because this competition was a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, my next my next video will be out as soon as possible. Hopefully it'll be a normal video because lately I've just been uploading a ton of videos from the competition. This is the last video from the competition, so bye.